Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Brian with Abound Web Design here with another Squarespace tutorial for you. Today, we're going to be talking about Amazon blocks. These are something that are great to display a link to an item on, Am on Amazon, an Amazon product. So you can display an item on your website that you're selling. Maybe you're promoting it. Maybe you're giving a review and doing that without using an associate link or any third party code embeds. If you participate in the Amazon Associates program, then you can still add your associate ID so that you get credit whenever someone clicks on the product. It will go through your associate ID so that you get credit for that. So before we get started, one thing that you do need to know that this is just for United States Squarespace websites and the United States version of the Amazon store. The like a, a, a United Kingdom Amazon link or Squarespace websites that are hosted or set up in another country other than the United States, it's not going to work for those. So let's head over to my screen and I'll show you step by step how to do this. Okay, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use my wife's website because she actually has some products that she sells on her website and then some that she sells, uh, some that she sells on her website and on Amazon. So perfect use case scenario here. So the first thing we're going to do is under the website menu here, I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to create a new page in the not link section here to, to show you how to do this. So, uh, I mean, you can do this on any page, but I'm going to go blank page and I'm going to say Amazon, their books. So I'm going to say Amazon books. And okay. So I'm going to go into edit mode here and then I'll need a, a section. So we'll just do a blank section and then we want to add a block and then you're going to, you can either scroll down or we can just search right here for Amazon and then choose that block. And we will make this, let's stretch it out because we're going to do, I'm going to two of them that I'll show you here. And so now to, to add the actual product to the block, you're going to click the pencil to go into the settings for the Amazon block. And then now you got to find the product and you can do this a few different ways. You can just search like what it is. You can type in the actual name of the product, or you can use the, I think the barcode, the method we're going to use is the, the AS, ASIN, the Amazon standard identification number. And so, well, because if you, so like the first one is a book that she has called a Holy Hope. So if we just type that in, then it's going to bring these other products up that are not her book. So we want to delete that. And then I'm going to go over to Amazon and I'm going to show you, we'll do the search there and I'll type the name and then her, the name of the book and then her name so that it pulls up that exact product. So then we'll, this is the book here. So we'll click on the product. And we're going to look for this ASIN number. And I think it's over here on the right-hand side. Let's see. No, okay, it's over here under product details. Right, so we'll just copy this. Uh, and then we'll go back over to the website. And then we'll paste that into the product bar there. And the book comes up. So we'll select that. And then we have a few options for styling here in the uh, in the actual block so let's scroll down and let you see here it shows um, her name the name of the product uh, the author and an image for the product here um, we want to also add the buy button and you can see it there buy on Amazon it uses the color palette for this website. The image here is set up for the aspect ratio of the product image that on Amazon. So it's pulling it straight over from Amazon. So 
whatever the aspect ratio of the image is there is what it's going to be in this block. And so from there, you can do a few things. So like you can grab the block here and shrink it up a little bit, but at a certain point, it's going to not really look great. So that probably works there. Let's center this up. Let's see. Three blocks on each side there. Okay, and then to do the second one, we'll just duplicate this block and then move it over. Do the same thing. Center it up there. And then now to change the product, all we have to do, go to the pencil. We'll X that product off of there. And then we'll have to find the other one. So I'm going to go back over to Amazon. And I'm going to type in the name of the second book. Now, the second book she didn't write, but she did publish it. If I can type all the sacred things. And yes, Lisa, Lisa Marie Black. So we'll click on that product there. And then we'll scroll down to product details. And there's the Amazon standard identification number here. We'll copy that. We'll paste it into the where the product search is here. And it will pull up that exact product. And we've got all the same things selected there. But as you can see, it's a little bit different on the sizing. Again, that's probably going to be because of the aspect ratio. Oh, we need to pull this back in. Just drag that back in. Make that the same. And again, the aspect ratio of the product on Amazon is a little bit different for this product and this product. So they're going to look a little bit different. So let's save that. Let's exit. And then the editing mode, ex exit editing mode. And then we'll go into the full screen pre. And you can see kind of what it looks like. You can mess around with editing the shape and size the blocks more. One other thing that you probably want to know, if you are part of the Amazon Associates program, where like you would have an associate ID, an associate's link for these products to where you would get a commission from them, you don't have to use the associate link in these products. All you have to do, and you can apply your associate ID to the entire website. So therefore, like any product that you put on the page or on your website will then get your associate ID connected to it so that whenever someone clicks on it and that goes to the Amazon store, you actually get the credit for it. To do that, you're going to go into the settings on your website and then you're going to go into developer tools. So in, under the settings, developer, tool, de developer tools. And then external API keys, and then you're going to put your Amazon Associates ID number in here. Once you do that, you'll see, like when you type in some information there, it's going to ask you to save. I don't have an Amazon Associates ID number, so I'm going to just delete that off of there and close this out. But you do it that one spot there, and it applies to everything, every product on your website, and you'll get credit for it that way. But yeah, let's... Let's go this, expand this out here and I'll show you, like I'll close this tab to where we found that stuff. But if you click on the buy on Amazon, it takes them over to the product page on Amazon. They can then add to cart, buy now. That's all it is. That's all, that's all there is to it there. So if you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more Squarespace tutorials like this one. And if you'd like me to build your website for you, you can find my contact information in the description below.